In today's video, I am gonna walk you through the process of designing an esports event logo design. To achieve the esport aesthetics, we have to focus on three things, an iconic mascot or symbol to represent the team or the event's identity. The second thing is dynamic typography, esports logos commonly feature bold and modern fonts that convey a sense of energy. And the last thing is a high contrast color scheme. In this video, we will make a logo for a fictional event called Stars Tournament, so we will make a stylized shield. A star as the event symbol, and the main name using a modern bold font, and we will add a ribbon to write the second name. Finally, we will add some highlights and shadows. Let's get into it. First, with the rectangle tool, create a vertical rectangle like this. Swipe the fill and stroke. Then, using the Direct Selection tool, select this anchor point and drag it up. Afterward, drag the Live widget to round the corner. Select this point and drag it a bit to the right. Now, hold Alt and drag this shape to the right to duplicate it, aligning it with the original. Go to Object, Transform, then Reflect, and press OK. Select everything, Go to the Pathfinder, then click on Unite. Now we have finished the shield shape, it's time to move to the typography part. There is a specific type style used in eSports logos, as you can see in this article. Just to show you, I selected these three fonts. You can find the link to download them in the description below. I decided to go with the Jawbreak font. I write, stars, as the name of the tournament, then make it a little bigger. Right click and click on create outlines to turn the type into shapes. As the name starts with an S and ends with an S, I will reflect it to make it balanced. Double click on the text to isolate it, then select these letters, go to object, and reflect. Using the arrows, adjust the kerning a little bit. Select the word, go to effect, then down to warp, and select arc set it to 10%, then press OK. Now go to object, click on expand appearance. Select the word, go to object, down to path, then click on offset path. Change the offset value to 20px, then press OK. Control X to cut it, then select the original word, Control B to paste it in the back. Go to the Pathfinder and unite it. Select the old word and, with the eyedropper, click on the artboard to give it the color white. Fill in the gaps in the black outline with the pen tool. Click and drag to the right, click and drag, then close the shape. Use the eyedropper to give it the black color. Control X to cut it, then select the outline shape, Control F to paste it in front. Select them together and, in the Pathfinder, click on Unite. Keep this gap the same on the other side and repeat the process to fill the remaining gaps. Select the outline shape, Ctrl C to copy it, then Ctrl B to paste it in back. Scale it down a little, then drag it down. With the pen tool, click here, then another click here, and close the shape. Do the same on the right side. Select all the black outline shapes, then unite them together. Right click, go to arrange, then send it to the back. Now, we have finished the typography part, and we will move to the symbol, let's put this aside, and click on the rectangle tool, and scroll down to the star tool. Click once on the canvas, set the point numbers to 5, and press OK. Delete this, then again with the star tool. Click and drag while holding shift until you get the desired shape. Rotate it to this position, then scale it up. From the color panel, select this yellow as the star's fill. With the pen tool, create the dark part of the star. Hold shift and use the eyedropper to give it the yellow color. From the transparency panel, change the color mode to multiply. 
For the highlight, do the same with the pen tool. Start from here, align it with this part of the star, then close the shape. Use the eyedropper to give it the white color. From the transparency panel, change the color mode to overlay. Adjust the star's color if needed, then use the eyedropper to give the shadowed part a dark yellow color. To add a layer of highlight, use the pen tool to create a line. With the eyedropper, give it the white color, swipe the fill and stroke, increase the stroke size, and then change the width profile to this one. Now, we will move to add the wings, with the rectangle tool, create a horizontal rectangle like this. Hold Alt and drag it down, shrinking it a bit from the right side. Again, hold the Alt key, drag it down, and keep it aligned with the other one, shrinking it a bit from the right. Select everything and press Ctrl G to group them. Shrink it down and place it here. Right-click, go to Arrange, and send it to the back. Place it behind the shield, then double-click on the wing to isolate it. With the Direct Selection tool, select all the right points and stretch it to the right to make the wings longer. Hold Shift and drag to rotate it by 45 degrees, then place it here and align it with the star. With the Direct Selection tool, select the tip points and drag the live widgets to make them rounded. Hold the Alt key and drag it to the left. Go to Object, Transform, and click on Reflect. Align it with the star. Now, we will move to make the ribbon, which will be under the main name. To start, create a horizontal rectangle. Hold Alt and drag it down, then shrink it from the left side. With the pen tool, add an anchor point. And with the direct selection tool, drag it to the left. Place it here, then right click and send it to the back. Hold Alt and drag it to the left, then go to Object, Transform, and Reflect it. Hold Shift, select the other part, press Ctrl G to group them, then select everything, and from the Align panel, align them to the center. Select everything, go to Effect, Warp, then click on Arc. Set the Bend value to 14, press OK, and with the eyedropper, give it the color of the star. Shrink it down and place it here. To make the drop shadow of the ribbon, select this top part, Ctrl C to copy it, Ctrl F to paste it in front, then remove the stroke, change the fill color to black, drag it down a little, shrink it down, then go to Object and Expand Appearance. Ctrl X to cut it, then select this top part, Ctrl B to paste it in the back. Drag these parts down, then select all the ribbon parts, go to Object, and click on Expand Appearance. Repeat and click on Expand, then press OK. I did this to turn everything into shapes. To complete the shadow, use the Pen tool, click on this point, click here, and close the shape. Use the eyedropper to click on any black color. Hold Alt and drag it to the right side, then go to Object and Reflect it, then align it with the ribbon. With the Type tool, click here, and write the word, Tournament. Scale it up, use the same font as the main word. While the word is selected, click on Character, set the tracking to 250 points. Now, place it on the ribbon and shrink it down. Go to Effect, down to Arc, set the Bend value to 11, and using the arrows, align it to the center. Then go to Object and click on Expand Appearance, now, select all the parts of the ribbon and drag it up here. 
Select the shield, Ctrl C to copy it, then Ctrl F to paste it in front, then shrink it down like this. Double click, then with the direct selection tool. Hold Shift, and select all the three top points, then drag them up like this. Adjust it to be in the same shape as the outer shield, then give it the color of the star. To make the strokes thicker, select the two shields, then increase the stroke size to 16 points. Select the inner shield and make it smaller, then select the wings, and increase the stroke size to 10 points. Do the same to the star, and then align it with the outer shield. Shrink down the two wings a little bit, then align them with the star. Now, to give depth to the main name, select it, go to Object, then Path, and click on Offset Path. Set the offset value to minus 2, and press OK. Double click on the color panel, and select a yellowish light gray color. With the pen tool, click here and drag to the right, then click on the other side and drag to make a curved line, then click here and close the shape like this. Select the name along with the new shape, and with the shape builder, hold alt and drag on the top parts to delete them. Now it's time to add some shadow and highlights to all the elements. Starting with the ribbon, select the pen tool, then click here, and then add an anchor point here, then here and drag to make a curved line, then close the shape. With the shape builder, delete the outer part, then use the eyedropper to give it the yellow color. From the transparency panel, change the color mode to multiply. For the highlight, do the same for the upper part, then change the color mode to overlay. Select the two shields, go to object, and click on expand then press OK. Again, select them, go to object, and click on ungroup. Now with the pen tool, click here, then click here and drag to make it curved, then click on this point, and then click here and close the shape. Keep this in black, then start from here and do the same shape reversed. Now with the eyedropper, give it the light gray color. Do the same for the upper part. With the pen tool, start from here, and make a line that goes between the two shields, then close the shape. Control X to cut it, then select the outer shield, and then Control F to paste it in front. Now the lower part of the yellow shield, make a shape like this on the right side, then give it the color of the shadow, then repeat the same process for the highlighted part. I think I need to darken the light gray color a little bit. Moving to the wings. Select it, then go to Object, and click on Expand and press OK. With the pen tool, trace the lower half of this shape, then give it the gray color. Repeat the same for the other part. Then select the two shapes, hold Alt and drag to the left to duplicate them, then go to Object and reflect them, then align them with the left wing. Finally, select the ribbon, then make it bigger. Apply some shadow and highlights to the side parts, and that's it. As we close out, keep the creative juices flowing. Designing is all about expression and fun. If you enjoyed this journey, don't forget to subscribe for more content. Hit that like button, and share it with fellow creatives. Until next time, happy designing.